Hello, Peter. Come and sit down. So, how are you? Not too bad. Yeah, well, we need to get this tooth fixed for you before it gives you any trouble, OK? Yes, let's get it done. Yeah, at least it was the only thing I found at your checkup two weeks ago. Any new problems? No. How's your diabetes been? As before, control's not fantastic, but I do all right. <laughs> no more hypos, and I'm due back at the clinic next month. Okay. What about your angina? OK. Bit of pain in the garden this morning. The spray soon fixed it. Oh, that's good, because I know how much you love your gardening. <laughs> Weren't you going to the hospital after we last met? I, I'm going to have the heart bypass up after all. They put me down as routine, so it'll probably be months. I don't mind waiting my turn. Well, you never know. It could be sooner. So anything else changed or new since we met two weeks ago? No, that's it. OK, well, let's get going and get this tooth fixed for you. Ow! Oh, sorry, Peter. <sighs> Obviously, I haven't got things quite numb enough. Are you OK? Hang on. Sit me up a bit, can you? Yeah. A bit of tightness. OK. Was it your angina pain? Yes. It, it, it'll settle soon. Shall I get the kit and oxygen? Oh, yes, please, Gina. Thank you. Yeah. This will fix it. Do two sprays normally do the trick? Aye. It'll take a bit of time. Oh, good. You just relax, OK? Just be patient. I don't need any oxygen. I'm not one for a lot of fuss. No, I know you're not. But I do need to check your pulse and your breathing, OK? Yeah. Oh, your good warm hands. So how are you feeling now? The tightness is still there. It's lingering a bit. Well, your pulse and your breathing are fine. I'm sorry that working on the tooth set your angina off, Peter. Don't worry, I'll... I'll have another spray. I don't like too much. It gives me a headache. You do look a little bit sweaty. How are you feeling now? Not great. It's usually gone by now. Chest still tight, but it... It's settling. Are you feeling sick at all? A bit. Not feeling too clever. A bit queasy. OK. Jeannie, can you pass me the pulse oximeter, please? Thank you. Peter, I'm just going to put this probe on your finger, OK? Just keep an eye on your pulse and oxygen yeah. levels. Okay. I've had one of these before. My heart was a bit fluttery just now. It does that sometimes. Can I have a look at your spray, please? Yeah, it's fine, it's in date. Is the chest tightness settling at all? Not really. Okay. Your oxygen levels are lower than I would expect as well. We'll give you some extra oxygen, okay? Jeannie, can you get the oxygen, please? This isn't behaving like your usual angina, is it? No. She's usually gone by now. Well, the oxygen should help you, Peter, okay? Six litres a minute? Yes, please, Gina. Thank you. Peter, I'm worried it could be something a little bit more. The tightness has been there for around four minutes and the spray's not done the trick. I'm thinking we need to get you to the hospital, get things sorted out. Gina, can you call an ambulance, please, straight away? Persistent chest pain, history of angina, not settling with GTN. Thank you. I'll print out a copy of the medical history as well. Okay, thank you. Just take it easy, Peter, okay? Mm. Are you allergic to aspirin at all? No, no problem. Okay, well, I would like you to chew an aspirin tablet, please. Because if you're having a problem with your heart, it should help. Peter, you're doing really well. The ambulance won't be too long, OK? I'm going to reassess you, and then I'll put a temporary filling in that tooth. But I can do that with you set up, OK? I wonder how Peter's getting on. Oh, Mr Shadwick ran from the hospital. It was a heart attack. So far, Peter's doing all right. She seemed to be in a right state. 
Well, it must have been a real shock to get a phone call saying there was an ambulance on the way for Peter. Thanks for doing that. She's a worry at the best of times. My mum knows her and she says that she'd worry that there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> she was very grateful though for everything we did for Peter today. Oh, that's good to know. Not that we did that much. But we knew what to do. Yeah. I mean, all the effort we put into preparing for those sorts of events paid off. It soon became clear we needed to call an ambulance, though. Good idea to check the GTN spray. Thanks. Part of the routine when I check the drugs and equipment to make sure they're ready to use. You know, I thought a heart attack would be more dramatic. No, not always. Sometimes nothing more than a little bit of discomfort. Do you know what I can't believe? When Peter was a young man, he used to be a professional footballer. Amazing how things change. No. Didn't the paramedics want to take the board? It's still there. No, they took a copy. I'm really pleased to have the information as well. Took a copy of the medical history summary as well. I've taken a copy of the board for the patient records. It's all written up. Is there anything else we need to do? Just fill in an audit form and get the kit back together for next time.